everyone welcome back to my channel today's video will kind of be like a shop my stash what's in my makeup drawer type of video um i have a lot of the makeup that we picked last time in my car i've been doing my makeup on the way to work and i've been loving it because it gives me less time which means less makeup so it's more my skin but a little bit better type of makeup which i've really been enjoying um, i look light and fresh and beautiful i feel good in my skin so i'll throw up any pictures of all the makeup looks i did last week um, i'll go over the stuff that i do have here and that i want to put back and um, highlight a few um standout pieces and then go over the new makeup that I'll be using this week, which I have a lot on my face uh, today. I picked up some Sephora favorites kits and some Ulta uh, makeup as well. Some makeup from Ulta. So all those things were in my last um, haul video. So if you want to see swatches and all that good jazz, you can check out that haul video. But let's go over um, this last rotations makeup. This infallible um, L'Oreal foundation made me look really orange. I like the texture just not the color so this one's gonna go back into my collection i have a project pan foundation i may take this out to make room for some of the other makeup and then i'll just pull for it again next week i did use this um two or three times this week so the chanel foundation may be going back i know for sure i want to put back my Giorgio armani i did use this a few times and it is something that i may want to project pan but um right now i want to make room for other stuff I also did use uh, my M Cosmetics blush, and this is in the shade Pearl Tea. This one was a very good one, very browny pink, a nude natural type of look. Effortless, like so good. Um, of course, my Gucci um, blush in the shade True Pink. I know there's another shade that someone recommended, and I'm going to try that one out, maybe. But this one gives you that baby doll pink. I love it to stain in. Um, I am loving my Tarte concealer because it's a little bit darker um, of a concealer so I kind of use like lighter products and then um, use this darker concealer under my eye and then a lighter powder to kind of even it out so it's not too bright because when I go in with the light concealer and light powder it's a little too much, a little too stark especially on camera. So um, this one's definitely staying in. My Givenchy one's in my car and I love that one. I wanted to mention some lip glosses that I threw in because these are two that I uh, really want to project pan. They're kind of similar in color. I like this one. It's very, very sheer and pretty. It's like this cantaloupe color right here by NYX. I think it's called like Honey Bunny. No, Milk and Honey. Sorry. Milk and Honey. Um, it's what I use to like prep my lips and stuff like that um, the past few days or at nighttime before I go to sleep, like a lip treatment that one's good and then this Dior one a 640 J'adore they discontinued this uh, Attic Stellar line but yeah it's kind of similar in tone and I want to get these out one this is old expensive and discontinued and this one is just used up a lot and it's drugstore I'm not like a big drugstore fan I love my high-end makeup so I want to just get this one out so I can have room for the um, high ticket items in my collection that I can love on more. So yeah, these two got thrown in uh, during the week off of camera. Um, I also want to keep in this Tower 28 gloss. It is so pretty. I can throw a little bit on right now. And it just makes everything so sparkly, glossy, pretty. It's like a slick formula. I want to keep using this before it goes off. So keeping in our Tower 28 one i'll keep in jungle it's a nice one by dior and then i'll keep an iconic nude i use my nyx uh, lip liner more than anything i haven't touched this um hot toddy one so we're gonna keep that in so i can use it let's go over the lippies that we are taking out i'm sorry this isn't a lippy but we are taking out the little highlighter stick i did end up finding it it's like this iridescent color i use that quite a bit um, on the tops of my cheekbones and it's just so beautiful so gorgeous um coming out so i can use the other two that i had thrown in um now we can go over the lip products this is the laneige um lip glowy balm and berry um uh, really really good i like this um to use right before i do my makeup and right before bed so i'm glad i got to use this a few times i did use my nars uh cruella is it cruella Oh, I don't know the shade. Yeah, Cruella. Lippy. So, yeah, we use up 
we didn't use it up i'm sorry we used the nars one and the lip liner that i was talking about is this one right here and new truffle we use this quite a bit as you can tell it's dull and i'll give you a little swatch of this one i used it a lot with my tom ford one i'm thinking of panning these two um this one's getting older and this one tom ford goes off really quickly and i've had this for a few years and I only have a little nub nub here. So eventually I would like to throw this into a project pan because it makes a good combo. But for now, I want to live on some other lippies. So we're going to throw these into our collection. And then two more lip liners. We used um, the one size one. I like to use the one size beauty lip liner with the Patrick Tall lip gloss I'm going to talk about in a minute. And then this red one by NYX is really good. But I don't feel like wearing red right now. So we're putting these back. And then um, I did use this lip gloss in Dolly. It's a very pretty color, just like a little too thick for my liking. I like a more gel texture. So yeah, super, super pretty pinky mauve. Um, and then the other lip gloss that I loved, Patrick Tall. It's very tingly. I felt like it lasted a good while on my lips. Um, I did reapply during the day at work, but it kind of for bade me from drinking water because like I didn't want it to get down my throat and burn so like I was like up reapplying this and being like uh I want to drink water and like wiping it off drinking water and then having to reapply it but other than that I think it's a beautiful beautiful lip gloss and let's see I didn't really dip into my Kosas powder it's a little bit of a darker powder it's in the shade comfy I'll try to see if I reach for it once or twice and then um, let's talk bronzer really quick. I did end up using this e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer one time and I really, really liked the outcome of it. So I think I will try to pull for that another time. Um, it is going back into my collection, but now I know that I like it so I can use it more. And then let's talk about these nude sticks. I did use Bondi Bay um, by Nude Sticks a little bit and then Bubbly Baby. I wanna keep both of them in to get a little bit more use on these. And then the other highlighter that I want to keep in is this Westman Atelier um, Lipstick and Nectar. It's more of a peachy shade and it's super, super pretty. So I'll try to reach for this a little bit more to get use on that. And um, eyeshadow, we're keeping all the eyeshadow the same. I do have the Barbie palette on my eyes. Um, so really, really enjoying playing with color from time to time. I just want to use all the colors in it before I put it back. Um, now we're going to talk about all the new makeup and what I'm throwing in. I do have this lip liner on by uh, Too Faced. It's their lip injection one and it is in the shade Puffy Nude. That's what I have on my lips along with this one right here. I shot to worry in Pill Tuck Medium. So that's the two lippies I have on topped with this one, Makeup by Mario and pink glow it's their um moisture glow plumping lip serum in the shade pink glow and it's just like a glittery not glittery but like glossy balmy shiny product um so yeah i'm using everything that's going to be in here so i'm pulling for everything in there today um i only have those two products on but we're gonna pull for the whole kit so that's this and this and then um, I'm interested in trying out this Danessa Myricks um, Blurring Balm Powder. It sounds a little funky monkey, but we're going to try that out. And they have um, a mascara in there, which I don't know if I'm going to open. Um, I may just put this to the side and decide if I want to use it later. And um, I'm excited about this Coal Eyeliner by Huda Beauty. So I'll probably try that out tomorrow and see what I think. When I swatched it, it's really, really good. Um, I tried washing my hands several times <laughs> since filming the haul video and it's not coming off. So I think that's very, very nice to know that it's not going to go anywhere. So that's going to be a little um, eyeliner that we can have as a option. And then this Rare Beauty uh, blush, this is in the shade Happy. I'm excited to try out this. This will probably be the blush I try out tomorrow and see how that goes. Um, and then, like I said, I'm wearing this Charlotte Tilbury Pull Talk Medium 2 um, lipstick that came, in, that came in this set. And um, I tried out the Clarins lip oil 
in that video and it was super super good so i'm excited to keep using this as a treatment and having this as an option to pull for for lips and um i think tomorrow i want to try out the rare beauty as my lipstick so the rare beauty might be the lipstick that i wear tomorrow it's just like this beautiful beautiful nude color it's a pinky nude again watch my video my haul video for all the swatches so that'll be that lippy and then we have uh, the tarte maracuja one which i think it's good for like prepping your lips and getting ready and then if you don't want to throw on a lip you already have a lip on kind of situation um or just bring it for like touch-ups if a different lip combo wears off just a little glossy color on there would look nice the same thing for this ultra lip um by glossier and the shade um villa I'm excited to use this guy too so i have a lot of nice lip options and then let me go over the rest of the stuff that's on my face and i think that's gonna conclude the video um so i am wearing this foundation which i'm very very happy with it's the camo hydrating cc cream full coverage long lasting dewy finish with trauma tremella mushroom and hyaluronic acid broad spectrum spf 30. Mine's is in the shade uh, Fear 140W. It is what I'm wearing. I did powder my um, under eye, my T-zone, and that's about it. A little bit under here to clean up, but like very lightly. Before I said it, it was so glowy and beautiful. I don't know how it's translated on camera. Hopefully, it's still very glowy and pretty, um, but I'm highly impressed. I know there was a lot of bad reviews about this, but so far, my thoughts are that it is, um, when you first apply it, you're like, ooh, this is thick and not gonna blend out. But once you work it into the skin, it's like so nice and smooth and glowy. So pretty, very skin-like. Um, but it does kind of collect here in my nose area, so you really gotta work it in there. I worked it in on this nostril side, but not on this labial fold um, over here. So is that a labial fold? No labial folds are down here. Um, right here between your nostril and your cheek area. Um, make sure to just really work it in there. It looks patchy at first when you're blending it out, but I promise you it's gonna look nice once it's all the way blended. I do recommend using a sponge. I used a sponge with today, and at the beginning I was just like, no, this is not gonna look good. And eventually it looked beautiful and perfect. Make sure your sponge is super, super damp. Wash it really well. Um, and then go in with the foundation. I am using it with the Jelly Pop Primer, and this will be the primer that we use for the week, and I am liking it so far. It's tacky, smells good, reminds me of the niacinamide one, which I really love. And this one is the Dew Primer, so this left a dewy um, finish for this to go over top, so that's why it was just like dew heaven for me with these two. I think I'm really going to love this combo. And... Um, yeah i'm just very excited about these two so again i don't recommend using this with the brush i haven't used it with the brush but i don't think i will like it with the brush so those are those and then the um blush that i'm wearing today is the camo look blush and this is in the shade coming in hot pink i'm wearing this blush by elf in the shade coming in hot pink um it did stain i had it i think over here in this area or this area i can't remember but there's like pink stains right there and it, it really uh, stained my beauty blender. I had to really try to wash it out and kind of like clean it with a towel to try to get all the remainder out. Um, so it's very, very pigmented. I did two dots on each cheek and that was like a big mistake. I'm only gonna do one the next time I use this, but it is the cream blush that I'm wearing today. Super, super beautiful. It blended out nicely, but very, very pigmented. Um, so yeah i think if you don't like too much blush i will put just a little bit and then do your concealer i did concealer first then blush today and um i know if you love wearing powder putting powder over it can kind of tone it down but i didn't want to do that today just because i wanted more of the do we or finish that most of these products are um i wish i had a lighter shade i, I want to say this may be the lightest shade i'll have to check out the uh Ulta website to see if there's anything a little bit lighter but so far i really do like this blush and if you're seeing a lot of glow on the cheek i am wearing an hourglass highlighter um so it's not this blush that's like extra glowy you know what i mean so i'm excited about this one and i would rate this one 10 out of 10 else been knocking it out of the park i am really impressed and you guys know i am not a drugstore girl whatsoever so for me to say nice things about elf 
means they're doing something right. Um, speaking of e.l.f., I picked up this Halo Glow. This is their Beauty Wand Contour in the shade. This is in the shade Light Medium. It is what I contoured my nose with, chiseled my cheeks with. I should have chiseled first and then used the blush because I feel like the blush went a little too low and then I don't look too chiseled. Um, but I contoured all the contour areas and I'm really happy with the shade, the formula, the price point, everything. This is magnificent. Elf, what are you putting in your makeup? I want to go buy more. Okay, um, so I think that was everything that I wanted to talk about. So I'm gonna use these things for a week and come back. And I already gave you a lot of review on most of the stuff, but hopefully I'll give you more opinions once we um, talk about these makeup, talk about the makeup in my um, next Shop My Stash. When I pick other items, um, we'll go over all these. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a blessed day or night wherever you are. Stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you all in my next video. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post this video every single week here on my channel. Bye.